Have you ever trusted God for something so big that without Him, it would fail? We faced a situation like that at In Touch back in 1992. At this time, our broadcast was airing all across the United States, so as a leadership team, we were seeking God's direction for what to do next. I remember reading the Great Commission in Matthew 28 when those familiar words seemed to leap from the page, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations. We knelt on the floor to pray, and I asked, Lord, did you really and truly mean the whole world? And I was sincere when I asked that question. We sensed God saying, Yes, and so we continued praying until His direction was clear. In Touch was to be available in every country around the globe within the next two years. We had no idea how this was to be accomplished, and we never said a word about it to our partners. But we quietly trusted God, and as He provided, we broadened our outreach. And two years later, to that very week, In Touch was reaching every nation on earth in some form or another. Is God calling you to do something that seems beyond what you can handle? Today we have a question on this topic, and as we look into this, I trust you'll consider how God will equip you for everything He's planned for your life. The email reads, There's something God has called me to do, but I don't see how it can happen through me. How can I be confident that God will provide the resources, the wisdom, and the success I'll need in an area where I'm untrained and inexperienced, I want to go His way, not my own way. Well, let me just say, first of all, you have to be certain about this. Is this something you want to do, or is this something God really and truly wants you to do? I think you have to settle that issue. And if it's something God wants you to do, what is the barrier you see? Is this the will of God? And if it's the will of God, you don't have to worry. For example, Philippians 4.19 says that God will supply all of our needs according to His riches in glory in Christ Jesus. So it's no challenge to Him. He's committed to making that provision. God has committed Himself not only to provision, but wisdom, know-how, whatever is required. God's call requires commitment, discipline, faith, and oftentimes much more. The first step for you is this. Are you sure you know what He's calling you to do? Is your heart clean? Are you listening carefully? If so, remember this verse of Scripture in Psalm 32. I will guide you with my eye. I will teach you in the way which you should go. If you're untrained and inexperienced, are you willing to make the necessary preparations? Have you asked God this simple question, or have you said it to Him? Lord, stop me if I'm moving in the wrong direction. You say, I don't want to pray that kind of prayer. No, if you want to do the will of God, you must be available to Him to make any alteration, any change in your life at any point. And so you're asking Him to give you direction and guidance and make it all certain. Then you have to leave the door open to Him. Step out in faith. Trust Him. Your willingness is what God is looking for, and God will give you direction. We're thankful you've joined us for In Touch today. And remember that if you will obey God and leave all the consequences to Him, No matter what He's called you to do, He'll make a way for you. Trust Him in this, and you will experience peace, success, and life at its very best.